this is SSL Family Dad with Simple Suburban Living and today I just wanted to go through the bare bones basics of what aquaponics is. I know this has been a long time coming and uh, I don't have this information on our YouTube channel and so I wanted to make sure it was there. I know that there are a lot of people who subscribe and watch our, our YouTube videos um, from any of the SSL Family channels who probably see the aquaponics thing thrown around and don't really know what it is and so I wanted to go through the bare bones basics of what aquaponics is and why we chose to set up our own system here in our home. And so I'll kind of take you guys in uh, through the beginning and step by step and talk about you know how the system works and how aquaponics functions and why it's so cool. So the aquaponics system really starts with the fish and the whole system is designed to basically be kind of the ultimate epitome of sustainable growing. Um, the fish waste that is provided by the fish that are in these two barrels here, that's kind of like fish tanks. The fish waste is converted through some various processes into kind of pure fertilizer for the plants. And so the aquaponic system is really a cross between aquaculture, which is raising fish, and hydroponics, which is the growing of you know vegetables and, and other types of plants in a soilless media through a water or nutrient solution. Um, so right now I have goldfish in our fish tanks and uh, I actually have plans to get some edible fish which is really what makes the aquaponic system tick is having uh, being able to harvest fish out of the system as well as being able to harvest vegetables out of the system. Uh, right now I have kind of my test subjects in here. I've been running for over a year now actually with goldfish and uh, they're just producing the, the fish waste that is needed to, to help the plants grow. And so I'll kind of take you in close and show you how I have the fish tank set up and then I'll show you the plants and how all the grow beds and that system works as well. Okay, so this is kind of where the whole cycle begins so here with the fish. And I've got two 55 gallon drum fish tanks. Uh, I've got another one over here. You can see a bunch of fish in there. Uh, I've got about 70 to 75 fish. I'm not exactly sure how many I have. We're using gold fishing here right now just as kind of test subjects. Uh, eventually we'll have actually edible fish in here that we can also breed and harvest as well. So all you input into the system, really the only thing you put into the system is fish food and you can see some fish food, fish flakes uh, floating around here. And the fish will eat the food obviously and then the, through the natural breathing processes of the fish and the fish waste, there's ammonia and other nutrients or other chemicals added to the water. Um, through these solids lifting overflow pipes that kind of go all the way to the bottom of the tank here, um, any solids that are collected at the bottom get kind of lifted up through natural water flow and uh, move along into the system. Now eventually the water flows into out of the fish tanks and into the settlement tank and any solids that haven't kind of diluted into the water or absorbed into the water will settle here and none of this gets wasted so uh, any fish waste that ends up at the bottom of the settlement tank here gets siphoned out through a series of uh, pipes and into uh, containers. I usually put a watering can down here and every week I'll come and clean that out and that just makes the absolute best fertilizer for plants. It contains just high nitrogen and other things that really <laughs> plants just respond to it amazingly. So um, very high nitrogen uh, fertilizer for plants. So nothing gets wasted here but the majority of the nutrients are absorbed into the water and the water then kind of flows up through this pipe here and out into our fish tanks or not into our fish tanks into our grow beds excuse me. And just like with an aquarium, it's the same exact type of process. You have to have some type of a bi biological filter or some type of a filter to filter out the chemical waste from the fish. If you don't have a filter in your system, you know, eventually the, the ammonia will build up in the system and your fish will die. And so in an aquaponic system, you basically are using these grow beds as the biological filters for the, for the fish. And you'll see here I have four barrels at the bottom here, half barrels. And all these are, are just uh, barrels that are filled with some type of a grow media. Now I'm using something called beechwood pebbles. It's just kind of a pH neutral rock that has a lot of cracks and crevices and things in it. You can use other things as well. And all this, all this rock does is, a, is give a place for bacteria to grow and also a place for you to plant uh, plants. And you'll see that the water from the fish tank kind of flows in the back here you'll see a little bit of uh, water kind of flowing in it doesn't flow in very fast and then over about 10 minutes it fills up the the grow bed full of water through through an automatic siphon called a bell siphon which is right here in the center once the 
water gets all the way to the top of the grow bed, it automatically siphons all the water out to the bottom. So you get kind of this, this flow of water going up and down in, in your grow beds. That allows air to get to the roots and the rock um, and obviously it cycles the water through. The water that uh, comes out of the bottom here just ends up in this drain pipe and that goes all the way over back to this barrel um, at the bottom here which is called a sump tank and there's a pump in the bottom of that that pumps the water back up and into the fish tanks that we started with. And so it's a closed loop complete uh, cycle here where the water just kind of cycles directly through the system. Um, you don't have to add a lot of water except for you know whatever the plants use or whatever evaporates. And uh, the system um, just completely filters the water for the fish. So you always have clean, crystal clean water. Now that biological process that happens through the biofiltration in this grow media it converts all that ammonia into nitrates. And nitrates, uh, as most of you probably know, are what plants use like a nitrogen fertilizer to grow. Um, all the other micronutrients and macronutrients, you know, phosphorus and, and potassium and iron and calcium and, and all that kind of good stuff. That's also, you know, traces of that are in the fish food and also through the biological processes that stuff is produced as well. And so you end up with a kind of a complete nutrient package for the, for the plants. Now these plants grow much more rapidly than they will in a garden because they always have access to water and they always have access to the nutrients they need. And so, I mean, I've got kale here, as you can see, I mean, this stuff is just, just explosive. It's so nice and green and healthy. Um, and this is under artificial light, so this would grow even better if you had this outside in greenhouse. Um, we can barely keep up with this stuff. We come down and cut it up for salads and smoothies and give it to neighbors and things like that, but just absolutely beautiful. And over here we've got a few different kinds of peppers that are growing and you can see some bell peppers just kind of um, popping in here. Um, these plants, these bell peppers, especially these will grow for many years. Um, I've had these in here about a year and a half now and uh, they just continue to produce. So we get to come down here and just harvest fresh food year round. Even in the middle of the winter we can come down here and grab, um, you know, grab a pepper or grab kale or grab lettuce, grab banana peppers, grab tomatoes, things like that. And so that's kind of the magic of the aquaponic system. It's kind of this like ultimate sustainable, sustainability or the epitome of like a sustainable system. It has very little input. It's, it's pretty much self-run. And once we get edible fish in the system, you have a source of fish, you know, that you can harvest from the system all the time. And you have a source of any type of vegetables you want to grow. Anything that will, will grow, you know, inside here in a reasonable area. Or if you're out in a greenhouse, you can grow, you know, anything, any size. And so that's why we wanted to do aquaponics and why we chose to do it indoor here in Michigan. Because we wanted to have uh, um, a, a source of, of fresh food that we can grow ourselves inside. Now, another thing a lot of people overlook about aquaponics as far as why, why we have it is this has really become kind of an education piece for our kids too. There are a lot of chemical and biological processes that are happening here that are so cool to just come and show kids and at the comfort of your own home you can um, you know grow food for yourself and, and really show kids how all these different things work. You know they've all learned like what pH is and different tests that we do with the water and they love to come down and fill the test tubes up and check different things out so and obviously feeding the fish and all that kind of stuff. Um, so this really has become kind of a center of our home and something that, uh, you know, anytime anyone comes to visit us, it's one of the first things that, that people want to check on and talk about. And, um, you know, it's just been really cool. So hopefully that gave you kind of a quick overview of, of the system here. Okay, so hopefully that kind of gave you a brief overview of how the whole system works and why we have it here in our home. Um, I'm going to do a lot of other videos and updates uh, on the system throughout the next years. And uh, just, you know, we, we plan to add to it and change a lot of things. And so if you're interested in kind of following along with aquaponic stuff, please subscribe to the channel. We'd love to have you. Um, we have a lot of other sustainable type things that we do around the home here as well. Our little suburban homestead, um, DIY projects and outdoor gardening and indoor gardening um, and all kinds of other things that uh, hopefully people find interesting. So if you'd like to subscribe, you know, hang around for the end slide and you'll have a chance to click and subscribe to any of our channels. Please hit thumbs up on the video if you found this interesting or informational. Um, I just wanted to kind of put a basic overview of the system out there so that uh, people that are, don't know what aquaponics is that might be watching some of our other videos can uh, check this out and just kind of see what the heck is going on down here. Why we have uh, grow lights and food and fish and barrels and things like that in our basement. Um, so hopefully that gave you some information and uh, maybe inspired you to look into it more. We've got all kinds of other aquaponics videos 
on our channel. If you're interested, you can check those out as well. So, um, as always, you guys can follow us on our website uh, at simplesuburbanliving.com, facebook.com, Instagram, Pinterest, and uh, you know, check us out. We have put all kinds of different information out there. I'll put links to all those in the description. Um, and uh, as always, I appreciate you guys watching. Have a good one.